um, this is just a mood board that we made that um, basically just sums up a few ideas that we thought um, just to get a more visual clue about what we're going to do basically. So. These are what we would ideally like to see we won't be using a soundtrack because we don't think it's necessary to for the, sh the short film because it has doesn't really kind of would distract from our idea more than add anything to it. I think. Um, yeah. Um, using so in the opening shots, for example, the use of audio effects, we're going to be using so there'll be a blank screen. We want to be a blank screen, and then use just sound. So there'll be the muscle muffled voices of people in the game we don't hear, and then you hear louder voices approaching and footsteps like so that to create the audience so like confused as to what they're who they are and then they can then the board's gonna open and you match the sound to the what you see on the screen. And then we're gonna emphasize sounds such as like the dice, the rolling of the dice, slow it down, make it really loud and like defined and stuff and like run it into the sound of like a double decker bus because we want to like carry on the sound yeah sound into the sound like so it runs on the one to the next, so there's going to be a bus that goes into the next to show you that they've transported into the game. So it's like sort of like a signifier, that bus sound, it's like a sound signifier to show you the difference between the two worlds. And then there's also the cameras are going to put on the board, they're going to be really loud and exaggerated to show how they're moving from one place to another and just emphasise that to the audience. Yeah, music, so you've done that. We're always using little snippets of music for when there's like points of tension in the plot and when there is going to be some, so like when the band walks up, when the girl walks in prison and the game is shut in, there'll be tense music that we'll use. And yeah, it just conveys the feeling of nervous to the audience and gets them on the edge of their seats more. some editing ideas, so for the lighting we thought that um, we could make it that the people who are in the house playing the game could be in like, darkness, whereas the people who are out, like the players in the game, they would be in light and this would show like, the difference between that there are two different worlds. We also thought that um, camera movement could be a thing which helps define two worlds, um, it would help uh, emphasise the difference because the camera could be held handheld when in the world of Monopoly and then it could be also, it could be like of close-ups, extreme close-ups of just the hands of the people playing the game. So this would make it like this would make these characters less important, and it make the players in the game the main focus. So it would kind of like de-characterise the people playing the game, making them less important than the characters in the game. Also, with editing, we thought that um, the girls who were playing the game, it could be like longer shots and like slow motion shots to show that they're in a different world. And we want the footage of the girls being controlled to be like fast paced and quick to show the adventure side of the short film. And also the setting between the two worlds will be different as when shown the house, we'll, be, we'll like associate the house with Monopoly and the place. Whereas when we're shown public places and places which we think of when we think of Monopoly, we'll know that this is the world inside of the game. Yeah. Thank you, Give them a round of applause. Have you done rookies to these places? Oh, kind of. Some of them. Well, like gone and taken pictures. Yeah. yeah. See how busy they are. A few. You say you have done rookies? Yeah, a few, yeah. Okay. I thought, didn't you want to kick us off? Oh, is that to you? Yeah. Because you, with you, it's more the idea, checking the idea makes sense to you, and then I'll go through the nitty gritty. Yeah, okay. Um, right, I'll just go through the points the way that I wrote them down. Um, I like the idea, but I feel like it hasn't been developed enough. 
So from your point of view, whether you've come up with the idea and you've, you've, you've sort of talked about it within the group, you've firmed up a lot of the things which may have not have come across in that. So you, it, it's not that you haven't thought about them, I just haven't understood it. Um, first of all, these four girls get together to play a game of Monopoly, right? Um, are they just girls that just fancy a game of Monopoly? They're just like around each other's house and well, what, there's three of them around this house, they're bored. They start playing a game. Okay, that's, that's yeah. fair enough. Um, this is also like... When does the game start for the girls that are trapped? When, the, when, the, when they... When so, they're, 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 so, they're, so for example, I'm standing there doing my ironing at home and the girl in the living room playing Monopoly decides she wants to use the iron counter and all of a sudden I'm in Oxford Street with an iron in my hand no. and I'm now in a game and I've been taken out of my, my world and I'm now being controlled no, by a person no, 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 no. The girls, the girls being playing the counters in the game, yeah. they will be out already in London because they're going on a shopping trip. They're already out in London. Right, so, right, so that, okay, so there's four girls that are out and about and they're already in London. Yeah. Together or in various together, places? Together, they're a group of friends. Together. To get, right, okay. So, at some point... You get to see shots of them together before they get separated. We are going to do that. Right, so at some point, so we learn about, we find out about these girls before they get started, they, they get yeah. controlled, yeah? Okay. Um, why do I care? And I, I remember saying this in year 12 when you were doing your things. Why do I care at all whether these girls are being controlled? Why do I care if they're trapped in a game? Why do I care if they get out? I, honestly, I really, what is it about them that I think they've got to get out of there because it's not right that they're in there? Why do I care if they're trapped at the end? Mm. And so I feel... It's more important for those girls because I don't care about the girls that are just playing a the game. They're ignorant to it. They're just playing a game of Monopoly. But actually, the four girls in the game are the more important ones. Why do I care that they're out or they're, they're not trapped by the end of the, end of the film? What is it? You know. I think because you get yeah because you get to see shots of them together and like being friendly with one another and you get to see them together as a group of friends and then they get separated and you see them going through their struggles and then at, yeah and then at the end when you see the one girl in jail. And you see the board closing, you're like, you're like questioning, like, is she going to escape from jail or not? Because the board is now closing while she's in jail. Right, so do the others escape? You don't know, because they're all in their separate places. Like, one's in Oxford Street, one's in Piccadilly Circus. So how do you see all this sort of coming together at the end? So they're all in the, they've all been manipulated, they've all been taken around London to, you know, uh, various train stations and stuff or whatever. And they're all around, and so we're right in the middle of it, and we've got these four girls playing the game. They come to the end of the game. You've got four girls in London, all over the place. They don't know what's happening to them. They don't know why. They're really frustrated and really um, anxious about it. How does it end? Just, will they get out? Is that, is that kind of how we you're ending it? We're doing the loop thing, so then it, we're gonna have, at the beginning of the, um, at the beginning of it, we're gonna have like a date come up at the bottom of the screen. So it'll be like September the 14th or something like that. Right. And then the last shot, so you'll see the game closing and then you'll have another day. So say like a couple of weeks later or something like that. And then you'll see like, it'll come up again and you'll just see the board opening. So like the camera will be like in the board and then you'll see it opening and then it will finish. Is there any, are you going to explore the reason why it's these four girls rather than random four people? Why these four girls are the ones that picked? Is that explained? Is that explored at all? I think that's not hard to do. Yeah. Five minutes, so to, put, to put that much. Are the four girls out and about going to be played by the same actresses as the four girls playing the game? No. They're different. They're different. They are going to be different. Okay. We have, a, we have an idea of like a shot of like there being a banker approaching one of the girls in the game, inside the game, being like, you owe me 200 um, yeah. for tax. And the girls were really confused. Like, I don't have 200. Yeah, or like he's just won 10 pounds for a beauty yeah. contest. Yeah, and he like taxes out and he brings out like 200. It's like in Monopoly money. So it's like in the world that's meant to be like, they don't know that they're being controlled by monopoly. So that she's like, why the hell is there monopoly money in me? And why are you taking monopoly? Yeah. Do the girls fight back, the ones that are trapped in this game? Do they, because uh, uh, obviously, you know, if, if all of a sudden my free will was taken away and I, and I can't do what I want to do, the first, you know, do you remember in your, your last video when you were tied to a tree and you woke up tied to a tree, that first 
bit was scared. I'm scared. What the hell was going on? The second emotion that you feel is, what am I going to do about it? It's like survival. So how how are you going to bring that element? And what are the girls are the girls going to fight back, or they are they going to be completely helpless to to it? They're like they call each other. There's like communication to each other. Like, where where how are you? Where have you gone? And they're like confused and stuff. They do try and help each other though with yeah. the, like, the phone calls and be like, where are they? Stay there, do not move, we want to come and get you. And yeah, I, mean, I wonder like, if there could be there a link move. between the real world, them trying to do something to fight back, and it somehow affects the game, and all of a sudden there's a link there, between, and the, the girls playing the game in the living room are a little bit, I don't know.